This slab is going to be turned into mugs. And so how I usually do my mugs is that I make two at a time on one slab. And that's partly because I, it's faster to put pattern on once instead of twice. But it's also partly conceptual. I make a lot of pairs of mugs. And the idea is to give them away to, to keep one and give one away as a symbolic connection. And so part of it is that they start from the exact same slab of clay. And that way it's giving one and taking one that started out together. So here I'm smoothing the background. All right. For this one, I'm going to paint a solid colored background. Um, for the others, I put white beneath so that the underglaze is going to show up more. Um, but for this, I'm putting just rutile slip right away in the background. So I'm adding my color immediately without having um, the initial white layer. So once I look at it and I see that no clay is showing through, then I know it's ready. All right, so then I'm gonna let that layer dry. So I'm gonna make this mug. And like I said before, I usually make two at a time. Um, so I'm gonna paint this whole thing in, the white parts. And this mug was inspired by a pattern that I saw on a sidewalk in Mexico. And so I took a picture of it and then altered it in Photoshop um, and played with it. And then I've put my own colors to it and changed it. Um, one thing that I usually try to do when I find something that I really like, whether it be a textile or a pattern in a sidewalk, um, is that I try to ask myself, what are the reasons that I like it? What are the qualities about it that I like? And then when I determine those, I try to put those qualities into my work. So for example, with textiles, I really like the contrast of tight, like machine-made lines with the contrast of the hand-sewn lines. And so I try to juxtapose together um, tight and looser marks. Um, another thing that I really like about the textiles that I saw in Guatemala were patterns next to patterns. And so a lot of times in my work, um, like the shake glass, I will layer um, one kind of pattern next to another kind of pattern. Um, the other thing that I do that has inspired, has been inspired by textiles is that I build the forms after I've applied the surfaces. So that's part of referencing textiles. So our clothes, the, the fabric has the pattern applied to it already, and then it's sewn and darted and seamed to fit our bodies. And so by putting the pattern on the slabs, the decoration, before I build them, I'm able to capture that same quality of patterns coming together at seams. Now that my pattern is the right wetness, you can see there's some areas that are starting to get light, but if it dries too much, it's gonna crack off so it's still movable. I am ready to transfer it on. So my pattern for my mug is a rectangle. So two of them will fit on here. And then I also made space over here for the bottom. So I'm gonna transfer both at the same time. So first I'm gonna transfer my mugs. All right, and then I'm gonna check it. So then I have my pattern on. And then this section here I made for my bottoms. So I'm going to transfer that at the same time. All 
So that was the first layer of transfer. And now I'm going to do a second layer, kind of the outline, the bolder lines on top of that. And then the unique part about this pattern is that I'm going to also add texture on top of that. So the lines on here are leather hard and they are ready to transfer. Um, I line up my pattern and check it by eye. Usually I'll check one side and then check the other and kind of adjust it from there. I think it's pretty good so I can peel it all the way off. And then I'm going to finish by putting on, um, finishing my bottom. So once you put layers of transfer on, you can also do things on top of the transfer. And in each of these, I'm going to add my little squares to give it some texture. <laughs> 